For the next 24 hours, I'm in the Himalayas, hiking mountains, avoiding tigers, riding dangerous buses, renowned for causing multiple deaths each year, seeing what room you can get for $2, and exploring the loneliest village in Nepal. I only have 24 hours to make it to the top, so the question is, can we do it in time? Will we survive the most dangerous bus journey of my life? And what is life like in these remote lands? But first, we're starting off in Pokhara, trying to find our taxi to get out of the city and get our adventure started. All right, we are on our way to Poon Hill and we are in a slight bit of a rush. Our taxi driver is waiting downstairs for us. We have our bag that we're dropping off to our friend here in Pokhara. But I think we have everything. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll come back. Ross, yes. how are you? Uh, I think hopefully going to make it in time. Thank you for waiting for me. <laughs> oh, sorry, stop. I'll just give them my key. I forgot to give them my key for the room, but we should make it in time to get the bus. Here's the key, I forgot. Okay, and now we are ready to go. Have you done the Poon Hill trek before? No, sir. Awesome. Namaste. Hey, that's it. Namaste. How are you? Okay, thank you so much. How much is the bus, do you know? Uh, Poon Hill. Poon Hill doesn't make. Okay. You pay him 250, okay? 250? Yeah. Okay. Then you can hike. Thank see you, you later. We'll see you later. Okay. Legend dropping us off. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, local bus. Oh, thank you. How long is it to get to one hour? Yeah, one hour. One hour thirty. Yeah. Beautiful. This will be. New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah. Uh, how many days? Uh, I'm uh, here for about three, four weeks. Uh, yeah. So I'll do Poon Hill, Mardi Himal. So I'm really hoping that this is the right bus that's taking us to the start of the trip. Huh? A few people jumping on the bus now. As you can see. Look how many goats there are here. It's probably like thousands of goats. We've moved into the middle seat because apparently these seats were booked up and we're now going to be jumping onto one of these jeeps that will take us up the valley a little bit to save us some walking just down the valley but we're waiting for another group of people so that it doesn't cost me about 4,000. Should be quite an interesting journey because we'll be heading down this thin row that stretches way down here and going into the hills and the mountain regions. We'll hopefully be seeing a lot more locals and how they live like off the grid and in the mountains. How many people do we need? Three more people? Yes. Tim more name kill? Asu. Asu? Okay, Will. I don't know if I probably meant you, Will. It's gonna change your plans, but we are heading to his village and then we'll get back on track tomorrow just because uh, all the jeeps were booked out today. I've just met this guy in the bus and there were no jeeps available, so. He is gonna invite me to his village and then in the morning I'll walk an hour over the valley and then I'll be on my way up to the Poon Hill. But I guess we're going to a village that is off the beaten track. Not many tourists would have been here, so yeah, it'll be quite cool. Look at these views to see all the rice paddies that are about to be harvested. And we're actually gonna be joining a family in about one week after the festival. My, my place is the this Behind this mountain. No, no, we saw that there was one tower. Down from here. Oh, we go around this way. Yeah, from here. The lads have just <laughs> spotted a small snake. Poisonous? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While we wait for our bus, we're gonna say hello to the goat. And it's just a little shed set up here. Namaste. Namaste. Is this your goat? Yeah. The goat have a name? No. No. No name. Do you name it Billy? Hey buddy. So we've got some nice water for, for the goat. Are you a blogger? Yeah. Yeah. Name? Will Palmer. Will Palmer. Will Palmer. Our village, it's in my village. Oh, okay. So tomorrow morning we cross. Yeah. I'll squeeze in. Alright, I might be standing. Oh, yeah. Everyone from your village? Sorry? This is your village? Yeah, yeah, this was Awesome. So we're going to be driving along some cliffs. Yeah. Already it's pretty top heavy in this bus. Back in there by sunset, hopefully. And then we'll have to try and find a place to sleep and get some dinner as well. So. And as you can see, we have some nice air conditioning. 
come straight through the door. <laughs> Don't worry. So I'm seeing a lot of landslides. <laughs> so there's a landslide right here that we're driving over. Look at this view, absolutely insane. Thank you so much. Somehow we've made it and we're just gonna go check out. My village. This is your village? Yeah. Oh wow, very cool. <laughs> Some nice poo. Good morning from Buka Durani, a village here in the foothills of the Himalayas. As you can see up here is the Annapurna Ranges, a very happy cow <laughs> running around. Danibad. Mm. This is a newer home? This is a new one, this is an nutrition home. Ah, so you can see the contrast in the yeah. new and the old. What age would these be? About 50 years old? 100 years? 100 years old. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, well, look at that with the mountain behind it. Anapuna. Namaste. No, namaste. namaste. Buffalo? Or is that just a cow? Like a bull. Okay, so this is just a bull here. Water hole right here. And the altitude of this village. 2700. When I arrived last night, it was completely different. I couldn't really see anything. But now that we're here, all the colors, the blues and the reds is so beautiful. And you were saying that there's a bus that takes people from the bottom of the village to the top? Yeah. At the bottom. So a dedicated bus in this village. Namaste. 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 <laughs> and little shops all throughout the village as well. Timron Nemkeho. Umar Grum. Umar Grum. Little steps sticking out of the path. On top of the houses is this stone, stone roofing. So it's made out of big stone sheets. We have in three hours, four hours. Namaste. Namaste. What's the population of this? How many people? Maybe 450. 450? Yeah. My room is there. We're passing from there. Oh, okay. So this is the way to your home. Yeah. So this is your land. Yeah. Wow. It's my own land. A little outhouse, toilet. And with the amount of spiders I saw last night, I would not want to be walking around here barefoot at night. <laughs> This big. Namaste. Namaste. How are you? I am fine. Timur name keho? Rambadur. Rambadur. Middle yeah. name Will. Yeah. I think I might have met you yesterday, maybe. Oh, he's doing some work up on the house. Namaste. Namaste. Your name? Middle name Will. 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 Oh. This is a very beautiful home. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. We have mum over there. Yeah, my mum is maybe inside. And entering some beautiful entrance. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. All the cups and this is awesome. And you cook in this room? Yeah, cook in this room. My mom is now setting food. Wow. <laughs> Namaste. How are you? How's the cha? Yes, I do have pound in God. This is very beautiful. Oh. Namaste, little pup. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mama is making, preparing some meals. Tarkali. Vegetable. What's it? Vegetable. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah. Think from there. Wow. So that you grow this in your garden. Yeah. As you can tell, everyone is very happy, and you don't really need much, especially when it's got. Views like that, a family set up like that, and just the whole community. It's probably the community that makes it the um, sort of place it is. And do the people like tourists coming through here? Yeah. Yeah? That's good. Is this her home? Yeah. It's a beautiful home. 
and you say that it snows here quite a lot as well. Yeah, maybe after three months, full of full of snows. We cannot come outside. We cannot work in here. <laughs> full of snows. Arriving at the school of the local village, we have some guard dogs out front. So, how many children go to this school? Oh wow, that makes sense. Four hundred and fifty people in the village. Oh, and you got some new classrooms being built and some builders working very hard so is it school time now no it's now vacation oh vacation nice day she's my second mom second mom oh so your auntie uh, uh, yeah auntie. auntie auntie very nice and this is can i have just a look inside yeah oh, namaste hello wow this is beautiful so you're cooking and you sleep here as well. What are you? What food are they making? Sorry. What food? Dalba. Uh, keep on on last side. Yeah, see only making like no rice. Mm. Yum. When it snows, how deep does the snow get? Would it snow like this? No, covering like this. So it's all like this <laughs> yeah, high. So we can maybe after one one month. One month from now, yeah. it'll be snowing. Yeah. Oh. We cannot come outside. <laughs> only inside room. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping warm. Yeah, keeping warm. And do the buses make it into the village as that well? That time is totally closed. Oh, so you have to stay in the village or walk out? Yeah. And how long does it take to walk out? From Naipul to maybe two hours, three hours. Three hours. Yeah, same like way. So, the old school way of doing it? Yeah, yeah cutting like, yeah, yeah. Back to her. Okay. <laughs> Dangerous. Dangerous. Yeah, sick leg, like a rose thorn. Yeah. Oh, look at all the buffalo. Yeah. Wow. So the grass is yeah, yeah. delivered here. A little baby one down here. Here we are at another home. And this one has the Tibetan flags. What is it? He's like a honey make. Ah, honeybees right out front. Wow, so they have a honeybee hive right in front of their home. So we have to be careful not to get stung. <laughs> yeah, let's go up. He's making a, like a Buddha big temple. Big temple. Yeah. So trucks are coming up yeah. and delivering supplies. Yeah. And there's cell phone tower service. Sorry? Is that a cell phone tower? Yeah, there's an Ancel, Ancel tower. Ancel. Yeah. Service, even up here in the remote parts of the Himalayas. So how big is this temple going to be? How big? Big temple, big like a Buddha. What do you say? The image. Oh. We have no contracts, not complete. We have a fountain that is continuously going. In the cold season, this water is very hot. Hot. Yeah. Oh wow. But hot season. That time, this water is very cold. Wow, it's interesting. Changing, yeah. It must be something to do with where it's coming from. We try to feel our yeah. Oh, that looks so so nice. Like, look at this mossy paths overgrown. Something about it is just so peaceful and relaxing. Hey, hey buddy. Hey. This is House's dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we now have a friend joining us. He's pulling us. Come on, let's go. Come on, <laughs> jump, 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 jump. The lady wants me to take her a photo, so she's getting ready. Oh, thank you. You can see rice, fruit, and everything stored over here, and some gas in case you need it. Timral name Kiho? Medanam. Medanam. Medanam Monsival. And it's really cool, they just feed the wood into the fire. Tea. Ah, I'm making tea. Tea. Thank you, bud. Thank you so much. Thank you. Head back out. <laughs> I have to watch your head. Yum. We are now off to continue our trek to Poon Hill. And we're heading to Uluri, Uluri? Uluri. To get back on track because this isn't the village that you'd normally come to. And supposedly there's a few tigers and 
different types of animals on the track so it's going to be an interesting walk we've got a big day ahead of us we have to make it to the bottom of Poon Hill before dark so it's about six or seven hours walking five hours once we get to Uluri so I think it's going to take us about an hour and a half to just get over this valley oh, yeah. yeah I might grab one photo <laughs> wanting a photo so yeah please nice. please Sometimes you walk here and you see tigers crossing. Yeah. Even we, even today also, today also we are coming in the morning. Yeah. We are seeing like tiger coming sometimes. If you see one in video and I don't see it, be sure to comment. You guys can probably see more than me right now. I'm just focusing on not rolling my ankles or anything. Okay. It's nothing. Tiger is nothing. Sometimes, so many times I mean, we are meeting here. You see a lot of tigers here. Yeah. What? So many times, not many times. Sometimes tiger is there. Yeah. I just looking here. He also looking me. Same. <laughs> he cannot do anything. What? Are so, they not big tigers that can yeah, attack exactly. you? Yeah, oh, Okay. It's very long. Really? Yeah, I promise. Drink at all these creeks. Tiger yeah. will come drink. Sometimes tigers, other animals also drink this water. I was reading somewhere. There's only about 350 tigers in Nepal. Yeah, wild next, tigers. Actually, my village, take the all is forest area. Yeah, <laughs> and a lot of those 350 tigers are right here. I'm quite glad I'm walking with with someone. All right, we found a bridge. How old is this bridge? Yeah. I'd say it's about 20 years old, probably. The pretty insane views. And we are kind of on the other side of the valley now. So this is obviously the bottom of the valley. So beautiful. <laughs> Look at that way. Huh? Show them the river. Yeah. So, so you think this is about 20 years old? No, no, just uh, two, two years. Oh, two or three. You get quite a lot of snakes out here? No, 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 no. No snakes? This is a big landslide that's yeah. happened. Maybe two kilometers. Oh, wow. Above. And what's this here? What's happening here? Is this a wall? Yeah, they're keeping and make house. Okay. Oh, so they keep the stone there and then they make houses out of that. Yeah. He's always carrying the biscuit. Ah, so like he's the security. The, he's the goat dog. Yeah. He's always fast. Namaste, little dogger. <laughs> Namaste. Hello. He's very clever. So the dog goes in front <laughs> and then we have the goats here with the bells. Look at the little baby ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so many. <laughs> How long has he been doing this for? How many years have you been doing this for? Wow, this is maybe 25 years. 25 years? Yeah. And these are all his goats? Does he sell the goats for... Yeah, 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 he sells goats. Okay. They want to every year... Before he have uh, maybe 500 ever. 500? Yeah, he's an accident. Ah, that time accident before you know his sleeping time. Yeah, uh, this uh, type of god is going up. It fell on big stone. Oh, See? so a rock fell on him. Yeah, big stone is coming down and his body is full of wow. damage. Wow, he's unconscious. He don't know anything. He's like a died. See you later. Here you can see it. All the mad honey. How much honey is there every time, every year? Every ten, ten. Uh, 10,000 kilo. 10,000 kilo and you yeah, see all the things. From here to... The little hives to... everywhere. And the bees, what happens if the bees yeah, sting you? Yeah, if bees also stick, in the black. That is one is yellow. Oh. And other side is like a black. All is bees. Yeah. Different, different type of bees. It's a black. Huh. Black color. These are all bees. Our, before we are passing. Looks very nice. Just arrived to the village, we got some water, but I need to find some decent water to drink because I need some tablets for this stuff. Alright brother, <laughs> well, thank you so much. Welcome. I wouldn't have been able to get here without him, so I'll leave his contact details below, so be sure to get in touch. Thank you brother, we'll see you soon. Holy shit. I was walking up the path and then I saw a tree coming directly at me. So I quickly sprinted down, almost tripped up, and they said for me to wait here because there's two more as well. Here's another one. Oh. 
got all these. So they carry it down here and they just let it go. There's even people down there. Crazy. We have a river crossing and if the water's too high, people must have to cross by this wooden bridge here. But luckily for us, it's at quite a nice level and almost nice enough for like a swim, but the sun is getting a bit lower, so we're trying to make it in time. Whoa, man, this is like New Zealand so much. To find a place to sleep and get to the base of Pern Hill. And then in the morning, we'll try summit to the top, but uh, it's a pretty chill walk. Second last stop before the base village to Poon Hill, so we're making good progress. And as you can see, I'm quite buffed. It's been a big day. Check out this little river and bridge. Oh, that water looks so tempting for a swim. We have made it. As you can see. We have a few people here at the police check, but I think it's just up there. The shoot here is about 3,000 something. I'll, have to, I'll double check on a sign, but it's, uh, it's reasonably high up. Now that we're at the top, we actually have to find a place to sleep. So I'm thinking one of these places look pretty nice. Yeah, we'll give this, this place here a go. So it says hot shower, and I'm not sure how much the room's gonna be. Hello. I was just wondering how much a room is here. I think you went for the one bit 200. 200? Uh, so for one night is 200. Yeah, we'll just have a look if that's okay. Oh wow, this is so nice. Do you have uh, blankets? Yeah, I do. I okay. do. Alright, this seems like really cheap. Just gonna make sure. So that much for one night? Okay. 200? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I pay in the morning? Okay. Don't you bad. Not many other people here, but um, we are gonna do Poon Hill in the morning. And then we just walk up 45 minutes this way. But just had a shower and the feet are quite cold. So time to heat the feet up because it is starting to get brisk up here. I did have a shower, as you might've seen, um, but the water was probably lukewarm. Maybe it's just because it's cold Himalayan water. But And then we'll check out the menu, which actually looks really good and reasonable prices for being 3000 meters up a mountain. Probably should just get something local because you know, the classic rule, if you get something it's not local in a very local place then it's often not the best what do you recommend chicken curry is very nice yeah right here we are we've got some chicken curry it's good mm. we're gonna have this and then go to sleep i'm so tired so i'll see you guys in the morning all right on our way up it's pretty early and uh I think we're gonna make it, had a good sleep. Made it to the top. It was a bit further than I thought, so the sweat didn't dry. It made me super cold, but check it out, we have, I think this is Annapurna, and then Fistail over there. Probably gonna get a hot chucky, and it's actually not too bad. It's only like 100 and 200 for a drink, so pretty reasonable. Hello, can I have a hot chocolate, please? Not a bad spot for a hot chocolate. Oh, I just met some real nice people, just been 
chatting for a little bit up the top. But as you can see, the sun has risen and pretty incredible views all the way around. We have Fishtail, so that's Marty Mal and Annapurna, and upon a two, I think. And yeah, pretty incredible. Made it up to the top, now it's time to head down. We managed to meet some pretty cool locals on the way up, find a place to stay and make it up here in our time frame that we had. We're taking a bus down the cliffs here in Nepal. Our friend is just clearing a rock off the road and I'm jumping back on. This is one of the most sketchy roads I've ever been on. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it, but um, Chips come here every day, so it should be pretty fun, but uh, look at this road. <laughs> We're going on this road all the way over there, down the cliff. I told myself I'd never do one of these buses again, but I have to get back to progress and I, so. So I think our mate up there is just clear, clearing the road, there's like a sharp rock. Pretty meaty tyres on here and suspension. A little bit slippy, so it'll be interesting to see how we manage all these dirt roads. Oh my god. Look at this rock. back we have the butter, butter chicken garlic naan momos doesn't get much better <laughs> 